Okay, I'm just going to do a really quick demo today on some cool things within Fusion Titling. Uh, I've been working on a new titling template for a series that we're working on and uh, I just thought it would be helpful to share some of my findings with you. Uh, I'm going to do this in Resolve 15 but the same process works in 16. I actually made it in 16 originally and then took it into 15 um, just because I'm generally testing between the two at the moment. Uh, if you can have a look at this title here, um, this is being created. I'm not going to go into the creation of the title, I just want to go into s the saving of the title and how to make it available for other users. So um, what I've done here is just chuck text plus onto a, uh, into a template project uh, and then um, made this little title here, uh, which is just with Infusion. Anyway, you've got uh, the name, the line width, uh, that's the maximum uh, width at which the line can grow to, uh, a title, uh, and then the positioning of the title there. So if I um, select these things which I want, I've colored green and I want them to be editable, uh, then I can just Command A and select all and go in and create a macro. So if I do create macro, now within here I want to enable the uh, options so in terms of export the settings that I want to be editable from inside the edit page in Resolve. So all I would do is do my style text for my um, uh, name. I would do my line width. I'm going to do the width. Uh, and my title, I'm going to again do the style text and then on my position, I'm going to choose my uh, center point. So once I've got that selected, I can give it a name of some sort. I'm going to call this um, title demo and then close this which will give me the option to save it so I'm going to say yes please and then it'll ask me where I want that to go and if I chuck that into templates and into edit and into titles and say save that's going to be saved in there uh, at this point I need to quit resolve so I'm going to do that and I'm going to save this I am then going to open Resolve back up. Uh, and this is just to make those title templates available. Okay, so now if I go back to the edit page and I want to put this caption on somewhere else, I am going to just jump into my titles. I will find my title demo that I've just created and I can chuck that in here. And now you'll see on the edit page all of those published parameters can be edited. So I can say uh, Dr. Smith. Uh, I can um, go to the end of this and uh, tweak my width. Uh, and I can then choose where on screen I'd like that title to be sat. Uh, and then I can, um, you know, go and run another one again. Uh, what's cool about this as well is that you don't have to have that macro installed in your templates folder for this to still work. So if I export this project and send it off uh, elsewhere, um, everything will just work as advertised uh, without the need for that macro for this template to be available. So this template won't be available on other machines, but if I sent them this project, this template would still work without any kind of trouble. Uh, so that is it. I hope that's been interesting and helpful, and I'll catch you later.